What's up, everybody? Welcome back to One Shot's Solstice Event. Um, when I got out of bed, there was no dream. Nico just got out of bed. So we're just moving on. Um, bridge is broken. Okay, so I can't... So, what's the idea here? Memory disk? Uh... Wait, do I go this way? I can't go this way. What's the plan here? They're in the door. Can I use the journal on it? In the door. Huh. Strange. I guess I go in here then. The deeper ruins are ahead. Note that they're partially flooded. Yeah, I'm aware they're flooded. But, like, I can't do anything about that. So it's forcing me to go into the ruins. I can't go through the normal gate. Huh. And it looks like there's more blocks than usual. Can I go to the kid's place? So that's blocked off. That's the way to the computer. So I can't go to the computer. Okay, so what was down here? I don't remember. The, the layout of the ruins is a little confusing to me sometimes. So this should go to the kids' room? Yeah, this lets me go towards... This lets me go see the... Yeah, this lets me go to... Uh, the plant lady. Is she blocked off? Plant lady? S savior You're here to see me? What happened to you? Hold on, I need to concentrate. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines... You're making the vines grow? Is is that where the vines are everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers. The best I could do. Yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good for this. Fear is good. Makes me strong. The vines grow faster. But if I am at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, Savior. The villagers, the children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if it's just for another day. Okay, so... She's holding the land together long enough for me to get through. I get it, and that's fucking awesome. The Solstice event version of this story is fucking intense. Um, please tell me both kids are over here. Pathway's blocked. By blocks. Wait a minute. I remember something about this. Yeah! Fuck that block. Never knew it'd be this easy. Ow, my foot. Ow. Are both kids here? Yep, both kids are here. Cool. Oh! The door! I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Oh, my stars. You're the savior. Huh? Um, uh, it's an order to meet you. Yes! I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is kind of, uh, destabilized. It's got squares in it. Yes, Alula. Thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares, there are way more There are way more than before. Even the gates of the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Uh, last time? Um, um, uh, nothing. Almost let that slip, Dimitri. Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh, gosh. Would it, be, would it not be rude to call you by name? No worries, Calamus. How did you know my name? I... Um, uh, not again. The Messiah just knows these things, Calamus. Right? Uh, yes, of course. Whew. Ah, you were saying about the gate? Oh, right. Uh, looks like I can't get in the city through any old gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember, I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds? That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if that'll be of any use to us here been flooded for a long time there's no boat not to mention the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city that's okay i would still like to see it it's the only lead we have all right in that case 
please follow us. Coolie. I have the journal out because I can only assume I'm going to need it again. It's going to glow, or I'm going to get prompted by a character to tell me it's glowing something. Because I'm sure it's become my MacGuffin. Oh, there's clovers everywhere. I'm not going to know which one to stand on. Um, well, here, let me talk to you guys first. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally the courtyard would be where we meet him, but, uh... I hope he comes back soon. Didn't you say your friend had, like, a flying machine or something silly? Or was that the author they said had a flying machine? Ring the bell. Alright, so what's in here? Okay, so it's supposed to be blocked off when I get... Aha! Here's the clover. I see you, clover. Oh! Hello, that's another hallucination. That one looked like a human, though. Nico! Nico, what's wrong? You look like you were about to faint. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier I was in the Barrens, and I saw something like this, too. It's like it was a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess. The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it, though. Wait. Let me check something. Walm. Yep, see, there it is. Oh, I was right. Huh? When I had the visions back at the Barrens, the book started glowing, too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again, and... Where'd you get that? Oh, uh, I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books. Oh, you're friends with the author. Cool. Except it's glowy. That's what the lady said, too. Hmm. Dimitri, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. Well, let's take a look at it. So, it's going to create a bridge for me. Okay, so stand on the clover. And... Magic bridge! Oh, magic boat. Whoa! How did that boat get there? Uh... Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. And then I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we are in, and then a minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Dimitri must have done something. Still. Hey, we have a boat now. We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again. But, come on, Calamus. Nico and Dimitri are with us. Well, if Dimitri made the boat appear, it should be safe. What do you think? I think it's safe. Get on the boat. Here we go! Everyone on the boat. We. Oh, I can make them face me. <laughs> That's adorable. We Boat ride! Oh, that is not a good boat, but that's cool. That's that's a pretty picture. I like that. <laughs> Alula's so cute. And then she's just giving Callum a shit. Wow, so pretty. Oh, jeez. Okay, it is just going to take me across. That works. We made it! Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay! Oh, wow, they just poofed. Alright, uh, it's a gravestone. Okay, so they're all going to say gravestone, so just find find Calamus and Alula. There they are, but there's like bridges everywhere. Let me go talk to them first, I guess. Um, Hey, guys. What's up? This is her grave. Uh, it's been years, but it's still hard, you know? Uh, Alula, want to help me look for some flowers for Mom later? Yes! Hmm. Mom, you're not gonna believe what happened today. We met the Messiah and... Hi, Nico. Hi. So this is Mom? Hi, Mom. It's a gravestone. Oh, that's, well, okay. Uh, here, let me, like, actually pay respects. Hold on, let me stand with you guys. Hi, Alula and Calamus' is Mom. Um, they're both really helpful, so you should be proud. Okay. It's a gravestone. Nothing up here. All right, so let's go down then. Do 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 do. Can't go that way. I already checked. So what's down here? More gravestones. It would be a really okay. I'm just gonna explain this just because it's in my head and I can't stop thinking about it. You do not build a graveyard or burial grounds specifically anywhere near water. And when you do, you have to seal them in cement. Like if you don't have a choice. You seal them in stone or cement because the bodies will go away. They will float away. You have a flood, here come bodies. 
Um, where I used to live in Florida had this problem, and New Orleans has that problem too. But, um, so are you the guy I was having visions about? You look like him. You got the hat. It's you. Uh, you, um, my name is Nico. Ah, nice to finally meet you. No, wait. It's a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh, I was supposed to find you. Good. Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I am aware. Prototype had, a, had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you. Oh, you mean the flying machine. Yeah, that's straight up a biplane, bro. They're called planes in my world. Oh. I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that Calamus and Alula was talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they were meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the, uh, your father. He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way. Thanks. But to answer your earlier question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particles disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are... Ugh. <sighs> Guess I should have listened to, to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back in the main islands? Oh, actually, back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, and then a bunch of squares. He and the robot lady... Neither of them made it out. No. He did give me this, though. The disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's going to be hard, yes. You need all three of us for the big door. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate's kind of kaput now. If the machine was working, we could fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? The battery in the mach in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Do you think you'll be able to fix it if Dimitri and I help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure if you'll, you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway. We can't really do anything else right now. I have a battery. Uh... Oh, no, I had to use the charged battery. Okay. It's a crowbar. Looks like a piece of the plane. Oh, dear. All right, so I need to find gears, and I need to find gears and a new battery. I know where batteries are in the Glen. It's just getting there. That's the fun part. Uh, Hey, guys, you know where I can get some gears and a battery? What's up? Hey, do you know where I can find a battery? Good question. We don't... You really use electricity in the Glen. Ah, but there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they'd know where it is. Gotcha, thanks. Do you know where I can find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle with teeth. A circle with teeth? Ha, huh, that sounds so silly. Like something Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps broken glass and junk. Oh, yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. Okay, so I need to go back to the main glen. But how am I going to be able to go anywhere? If I go back to the main glen, how am I going to go anywhere? Wasn't everything blocked off? How's that going to work? We'll try it, but... Oh, no, wait! Because you do get to the rest of the city through... You do get through the rest of the city through here. So if I go through the ruins, I should be able to get to the city. Okay, that that's fine. So her vine shouldn't be in the doorway, and I should be able to go across. Oh. 
Well, shit. Or maybe that was how I got to the puzzle. That might be how I got to the puzzle. Let me try this way. Well, that's, that's not where I'm going. How did I get to the town? Hmm. That's blocked off. Interesting. I guess I'll be back when I figure out how the hell to get to the city. So, I'm back at, um... I, I All of the places were blocked off, literally. Like, I checked. Every single exit was blocked off, so I thought, maybe come back and talk to her? And he does have something else to say. So, yay. I, um, have something to ask of you. Yes. It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and... That's right. The bridges... You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah! Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges. They're in very specific locations over water. I need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. An undertaking. Ah, uh, but possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Please stand back. Oh, dear. Ooh. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... Aww. Aw, poor lady. Okay. So I, I can only assume that means she fixed the bridge. And I can get over to uh, the rest of the town and stuff. I need to get wool, go to the trader, tell him I need gears. Okay, so there was a bridge out here. I fucked up, robot. I'm sorry for your existence right now. Can- can- okay. Stuff getting in my way. Ah, thank you, lady. So this should get me... over here. And then I can go down here. Uh, ah. And then if I go here, I should be able to get a battery from one of these guys? Some mines just grew around this bridge. Almost as if it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah. Sad. Do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? I have a battery integrated into my system. It cannot be used to power other things. Ah. Uh, the, he said specifically research center, so let me go straight up to the building. Hey, I need a battery. I need this battery. Looks like a generator. Please do not stand too close to the generator. If you have increased, please ask me. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the gun. Hello. Would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery would require a high-capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. Oh, right, I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing the Barons, didn't we? If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, wait. If we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe Dimitri and I should find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. Now I gotta power off the robots. Oh, I'm gonna feel bad. Guess we have no choice but to take this. Oh, now all the robots are down. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, man. I feel bad. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Charge battery. Um, so can I get to the mainland, like where I came in, maybe? Is that where the trader's gonna be hiding out? Like, if I go up here, will it let me go all the way up here? Ah, yeah, here's the trader guy. The bridge of the forest just restored. The village evacuee should be able to find a better fishing spot here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, so if I go through here, will I just end up in the village? Oh, cool, I just ended up in the village. That works. Uh, you. Oh, you're the trader guy. Sure am. You here to trade? Because if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff was take was back in my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. Managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, do you have anything like gears? Gears? The metal spinning thingies? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait, I do have this box thing you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box. Yeah, I bet there's lots of little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Oh. Oh, what am I saying? 
You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not be able to not... I might not be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, well, there's, uh... Not the syringe. I don't need the syringe. There's the music box. Why not music box? Uh, can I combine it with the crowbar? Can't combine those. Okay. I guess I'll just give the box to him. Is Sheep Dude around here somewhere? This island's more... Would have been nice to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. Is Demon Goat here? Demon Goat! <laughs> what a day. Hi, everybody. Looks like the Glen's deteriorating faster than ever. Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Oh, come on. I'd love some stew. I'd love stew. Vines are everywhere. So this is letting me go... Well, no, there's no point in going that way. You can't really go. Uh, I'm just checking to make sure there's not something else I need around here. Or something else I can get. Our village is ransacked by squares. Made it out alive. Squares are bad news, man. Yeah, they are. You got you got to get those circles. Hey, all these guys are like, yeah, fishing. And I'm just over here like, no. Bad news bears. Alright. So let's get back to graveyard. Yes. Alright, so now we have everything that we need for old boy to fix the plane. So let's get out of here, man. What's up, guy? Got you some stuff. Sorry, I forgot. What parts do we need to find again? A battery for the machine, a few gears to replace the broken ones. Find the parts I need, should be able to get... I have to hand it to him separately. Here's a battery. Found a battery? Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah. We can always just give it back later. Alright. We still need a few gears to put this engine back together. Please do what you must to find some. I got this music box. You found a music box? It should have gears in it, right? I assume so, but... This looks like one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes, too? My dad makes a lots of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader in the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love traveling the world, despite... Well... Ah, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in here are compatible with the engine. Although it pains me to have to take it apart. Uh oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around some of these parts. Oh, ports, not parts. And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck and... Uh, don't worry. I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring F Proto back first. And then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... What does she look like? It's going to sound strange, but... She is a fox. I do remember the fox. Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue. Aw, oh, her name is Rue. That's adorable. The memories are still really blurry, though. I see. Huh. It's just hard, you know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream, but then I got, got so caught up with... and I just kinda forget. I forget that everything here is supposed to be not real, and then I remember, and then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place... Am I just trapped here for no reason? Ugh. Proto also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well, I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father's putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. 
The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at a frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? You only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything in this is generated from pre-existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some of his friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... Uh, with... Uh, he's giving you the kitty eyes. Alright, alright. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being built in to greet the messiah of the old world. I was, um, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, you know of it, at least, then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two, none of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. Ah. In the years leading up to the Calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophetbot, a uh, prototype, was built to predict the future, about the specifics of this messiah. But as, his, but as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet, the World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is there's no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So as aside from the standard hardware, it's also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Ah, Father caught on to the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to, fin to fix it. After the world ended, the code kind of just ended up floating in the void, indefinitely, waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their own hardware. Dimitri? Yeah, the operator, Dimitri, would even generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So Dimitri was the living person you needed to borrow? No, that would be you. But why me? I shouldn't have asked that question. I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes if you are ready. All right. I understand if you are upset, but please try to understand. My father's going to the going. Is <clears throat> My father is doing this to help all of us, and that includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... Uh, the world means a lot to him, you know? So, how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah, well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Calamus and Alula where, where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news. The boat's gone. Oh, the boat is gone. What? It's the squares. It looks like they're heading in this direction. 
That's fast. Calamus, right? Yeah? How bad is it? It doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then it is priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But what about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh, yeah! All right. I'll be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Uh-huh. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. All right, then. I guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. All right. Let's get in your little biplane there. Off we go. Whee! <laughs> Nico's so excited. He's like, whoa! Whoa! Wouldn't someone in the city be freaking out about it, just a plane in their airspace? Phew. Made it. You, uh, okay there? He's still super excited. Look at his face. That was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Reactions from first-timers are always delightful to watch. Hey, Dimitri. That was really fun. Did you have fun, too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch it at least, right? And Cedric? Yeah. Thanks. What for? Flying! Oh, um, you're, uh, welcome. And for answering my questions back there, too. And for telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So I'll help you do- I'll help you the best I can. And even if it's all just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly, and I got to see the ocean, and I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. And Prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you're taking it so well, Nico. And I'm glad that we have met as well. Despite the circumstances. Ah, speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings, too. That's true. Those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, do you remember what you do to get to the surface? I remember having to fix an elevator button. Alright, you should attend to that, then. Let's meet up to here in an hour, okay? Got it. Alright, now let me just... And... Saw that coming a mile away. No! Ugh. Uh, they're trapped on the island. Calamus. Alula. They're... We don't have much time left. Nico, change your plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright, what about you though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. Oh, okay. What? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. Hey, Dimitri, let's do our best. Yeah, let's do our best. Let's uh, take off. So where does this... Oh, this is now open. I see. So there's the garden. It's blocked off to get to the... Oh, he's fucked. All right. So is the bed still down here? All right, so he's kicking the shit out of the elevator. Come on. Come on! Work already, huh? Oh, right, the elevator guy. <laughs> he remembers. How you doing, elevator guy? Uh, I'm gonna help you in a minute there, elevator guy, but I'm gonna go take a nap first. Oh, nope, never mind. I guess I'm not. Maybe we should talk to the guy first. Okay. Come on! Come on! Now of all times. Uh, excuse me? Whoa, you're you! Oh, jeez, I didn't think I was going to run into... The elevator's missing a button, right? How did you know? Uh, Dimitri and I'll help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this, on me. But I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments. Of course, Square Stuff wrecked that place yesterday. Oh, right now everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. 
The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartments? The what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button. Holy f fudge! It looks like we'll have to find another way down altogether, but this is the only elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Well, no, there's elevators up top, though. There's elevators in the, the room with the clock, right? Um, well, we're going to handle that in the next episode, because this one's running about at length that I like to keep it. Um, so in the next episode, we're going to get to those surface elevators. He said, in a big door under a clock. Which I'm assuming is the big weird door I saw in my first playthrough that I never really figured out what it was for. So we'll get there. Um, but until next time, be good everyone. Time for a nap. Bye-bye.